Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you a few different tips for ways that you can design your one product Shopify store efficiently. And I'll be covering a way that you can help to save time when you're listing your product on your Shopify store. I'll be showing you a section that you can add to your homepage to display and promote your product. And I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to customize your website's menu links. You can follow this video if you're a beginner with Shopify. And if you have a website, that you'll be selling or dropshipping a single product on. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. If you're new to the Shopify platform, or if you will be starting your online store soon, Shopify is luckily one of the most beginner-friendly and user-friendly platforms to start your business. You can list and sell physical products, digital products, and you can also dropship and sell print-on-demand products through your Shopify store. If you're in the test run phase with your store, I do have a link that you guys can use so that you can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. I'll put that sign up link in the description box below. For the first Shopify website tip for creating your one product Shopify store, I'll be covering a section that you can add to your homepage so that you can help to turn your homepage into a sales page for your product. Creating your homepage in a sales page style can be a great way to optimize your homepage so that you are turning it into a page that complements your product and describes the different features and qualities of your product. This tip will be to add a featured product section to your homepage. Featuring that product that your store sells on your homepage can be a great way to optimize your homepage so that when you give your homepage link to potential customers, they can not only see the qualities and benefits of your product from your homepage, but then when they go in to open the product page, they can read more about your product on the official product listing page. To add this section to your homepage, you want to open Shopify. Then in your themes page, you can go in and customize your website. You want to determine where on your homepage you would like to feature your store's product. I'll be featuring my product section sort of closer to the top of the website, so right under the main banner. In between sections, you can click Add Section, and then you'll want to insert a Featured Product section. This section is going to allow you to feature that specific product in your store. It's going to show the main product photo, as well as the title, and where customers can add it to their cart. Then when customers click View Full Details, it will take them to the full product page. And I'll be showing you how to link your product to this section. Next to product, I'm going to click select. And this is where you'll be able to select the product that you would like to feature. Here I've added an example product. And here's how it appears with the product added. For the customization settings that you have for this section, you can choose to apply a new color scheme to this section. You want to be sure to select a color scheme that ties in with the rest of your website. For this website, I've done a combination of black and white backgrounds. So for this, I'm sticking with my color scheme one. You can also choose if you would like to show a secondary background, which will apply sort of a border around this section. So I'm going to select to apply this. Under media is where you can adjust the display of the media pictures on this section. So you can adjust the media width for the desktop view in case you would like the images to take up less space on the desktop view, or if you would like them to appear larger. Next to media fit, you can play around with the media fit setting. I've just selected original, then you can customize the desktop media position in case you would like the photos to appear on the right side or the left side of the screen on a desktop device. And when you click this phone icon, this will show you an example of how this section can appear on mobile devices. And once you're done, that is how to feature your product on your homepage. This way you can turn your homepage into a more effective sales page style format. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. For the next tip, I'll be showing you a way that you can actually quickly generate the product description for your product with the help of ChatGPT. ChatGPT can help you to not only save time from creating your product description and the sales text for your brand, 
but if you're maybe not the best writer, it can also help to generate a more effective and higher converting product description. On Shopify, I'm going to click products and here I'll be opening one of my existing products. Once you open your product under the description field is where you can add in your product description. And you can also choose to upload pictures and videos throughout your product description to help show off your product a little bit more. I've opened ChatGPT and here you want to put in a detailed prompt to ask it to generate a product description for your product. Be sure to include as many details about your product as possible so that it can generate a more accurate and detailed description. You can also choose if you'd like to mention your shipping details if you would like that information added to the product description. Then once you have your product description generated, you can choose if you like the final result. And if not, you can also ask it to generate another product description and you can just let it know what changes or revisions you would like to make. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to copy this. Then I'm pasting it here in this description field on Shopify. You have a variety of editing options for your description text. When you select a specific text, you can choose to adjust the formatting of the text. And you can also choose if you would like to realign the text. You also have the option to put text in bold, italic. You can also underline the text. And when you select some of your text and you click this icon right here, this will allow you to be able to customize the text color in case you would like to apply a different text color. You can also adjust the background text color, especially if you want to create a highlighted effect for any of the specific text. Also, when you click this insert link icon, this will allow you to insert a link leading to another page in your website. So if you would like to include links leading to other products or other pages in your website, this is a way that you can do that. And then you can insert pictures and videos throughout your product description in case you would like to show more of your products. And you'll have additional editing options when you click these three dots. You can include bullet lists and number lists throughout your description if you would like. And that is a way that you can use ChatGPT to help write out your product description for you. I'm going to click save to save this product. And then I'm going to open up that product on my website. And when you open your product page, you can take a look at the description display. Also on your product information box, you'll also have other editing options. So for example, when you click on this product information box, you can choose if you would like to enable or take off the sticky content animation on desktop. That setting is going to take off the scroll animation that's on the description text for when customers are scrolling through this page. For the last tip, I'll be covering how you can customize the main menu and the footer menu of your website. Your menu bar is where you'll want to feature multiple links leading to different pages in your website. And I'll be covering different customization options that you have for your menu bar and the display of your menu. Then for the bottom of your website, I'll be covering how you can customize your footer bar. On Shopify, I'm going to click to open the content page. Then I'm going to click menus. And this is where you can customize the existing menus for your website. And you can also click create menu to create a brand new menu on your website. I'm going to create a new menu and then I'm going to start off with titling this menu. I've titled this a new main menu. Then under menu items is where you can begin adding links to different pages in your website. So I'm going to click add a menu item and then under link, this will show you the different page links that you can add links to. I'm first going to add a link to the homepage of the website. And then under label is where you can customize the title for the link appearance. Then I'm going to click this check mark icon to officially add that link to the menu. I'm going to click add menu item again. And here I'll be adding a link to the headphones product. This way customers can also see where to go get the product if they're just taking a look at the main menu. For this next menu link, you can choose to add links to different pages in your website, including if you have an about us or FAQs page and also a blogs page and your store's policy pages. I'll be adding a few page links to the menu for an example. And then another important link that you want to add to your main menu. This will be to add a link to your website's contact page. This way your customers can use your contact form to contact your brand. Then in case you would like to rearrange the positioning of the menu items on your menu, you'll want to select this icon on one of the menu items. Then in case you would like to adjust the positioning of the menu items on your menu, when you hover over one of the menu items and you click this icon, this will allow you to select and drag that menu item to reposition it on your menu. You can also create sublinks on your main menu. So if you select the page and drag it right underneath and off to the right of one of those main menu links, your customers will be able to select the link. It will create a dropdown to show the other pages that you've listed as a sublink underneath it. Then I'm going to click save to save this new main menu. I'm going to click online store and I'll be opening my website. Then when you open your website, I'm going to click on my header bar and here next to menu, 
This is where you can select which menu you would like to feature. So I'm gonna select to feature that brand new main menu. And then when you open the menu, you should see those new page links applied. You can also adjust the display of your menu on your header bar. So next to desktop menu type, you can select if you would like to apply a drawer menu. You can also apply a drop down menu. Here's the appearance of that menu setting. And you can select if you would like to apply a mega menu setting. Then next to desktop logo position, the positioning of your logo can also reposition the menu as well. I'm gonna select top center. This way the menu will display underneath the logo. And those are a few different customization options that you have for the main menu of your website. Next, when you scroll to the bottom of your website and you click on your footer bar menu, I'll be showing you how to connect either your existing footer bar menu or whichever new footer menu you created. So on Shopify, you can take similar steps that I just took to creating a main menu for creating your footer menu. I'm gonna click to open the content page and then I'm gonna open menus. And here I'll be creating a brand new menu, which will be the new footer menu. And then I'll begin adding different menu items. Then you'll wanna save your new menu. And on Shopify, you'll wanna click on your footer bar menu. Then under the footer section on your website, I'm gonna click add block and I'll be inserting a menu block. This way, when you click on this menu block, it will allow you to select which menu you would like to feature. And I'll be featuring that brand new footer menu that I just created. You can also choose if you would like to have a title above this menu. I'll just be removing this heading text. And that is you can add a few of your links and do your footer bar menu. If you would like to customize your menu further, you can add more blocks to your menu display. I'm gonna click this plus icon and I'm gonna insert an image box. And this is where you can upload your brand's logo in case you would like to add your logo to your footer bar. Once you upload your logo next to image width, this is where you can choose if you would like to increase the size of your logo. And once you're finished, that is how you can do your footer bar or your one product website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.